Hello, hello, welcome back to the channel and uh, welcome back to some Planet Zoo. We are back here in Otter Creek Park where we are going to be working on the uh, little exhibits that we're going to put over here in the plaza area in the back. Uh, I know I said I was going to work on the parking lot in the last episode, but I decided to push that back just a little bit because I like to get some more of the, uh, uh, the entrance area done because not only do we get the uh, entrance area in the front, but we also need to do it uh, in the back plaza uh, behind the entrance and get all that going but uh, I figured it might be better suited to save the parking lot uh, for a little bit later when we get an idea of where exactly the zoo is going to be uh, you know on either side of this entrance but uh, before we get into any of that uh, let's talk about the most exciting thing first and that is Kingathon 2021 uh, it is when you see this video it will be Tuesday the 20th of July which means that the following that Thursday uh, just two days from today will begin the major Kingathon 2021 streaming event and what I mean by that is from the 22nd to the 25th these four days we are going to be doing lots of there's well I'm not personally but there's gonna be a lot of streaming and just lots of content all around uh, in regards to this really really fun and uh, charitable event uh, all the money that uh, gets raised will be sent to Kingo Wildlife Ranch down in South Africa to help them feed all of those amazing animals they have down there uh, they really need our help they really need the whole entire world's help uh Pawsley, who you may or may not have heard of if you haven't heard of him you probably have been living under a rock but anyway uh he's organizing the event and uh i have been uh and i am absolutely honored to do my part in this now i won't be streaming but i will be making some videos uh where me and another youtuber the name by the name of mathlete will be creating a little zoo littles uh mini zoo uh in honor of kingo wildlife ranch uh as a matter of fact by the time you see this episode you may have already seen uh, a few of those episodes already i believe they started on the 17th if i'm not mistaken but anyway there's that. that. That's what I'm doing to help promote the event. And uh, my main focus on that little series that we're doing is just the animals themselves. So uh, please, if you can, you know, uh, donate. Uh, links will be in the description down below, along with all the information that you may need about this entire event, about King of Wildlife Ranch, and uh, what our goals are for this, for this event. So uh, I really appreciate that. Don't put yourself in a financial hardship or anything to, uh, to donate if you can't. Don't feel bad about it, but just at least join the streams, you know, and have a little bit of a good time. Uh, there's probably going to be some giveaways and all that kind of stuff, too. So uh, I have to say it's really difficult to talk about stuff like this when I know that this video is going to be in the future. So, you know, it's really hard to say what's going to happen in the future. So uh, anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, definitely uh, definitely keep an eye out for all that kind of stuff. And uh, your any help that uh, anyone is able to do is greatly appreciated. Uh, I'm going to do my best to, to, to do my part in all of this, although my part won't be as significant as others, but I am honored to do this, and I, I can't wait to, uh, uh, it probably sounds wrong, but what I mean by this when I say I can't wait to be over, I don't mean that I just want it to be over, I want it to be over so that way we can get these animals fed. The more money that we raise by the time it's over, all that money can go and get those animals fed, and uh, that's the uh, that's the main goal. So yes, I do want it to end but because of that, you know, not because I'm not having fun with it or anything. Uh, so that covers that. So what we're going to be doing in the episode today is, uh, like, a, like I said, we're going to be working on the little exhibit house. So the plan is to bring the plaza out, and we're going to have a section directly in the middle where we're going to have a neat little uh, uh, exhibit structure with two exhibits in it. Uh, the two animals that are going to go in there are the uh, Antillian Iguana and the Goliath Bird Eater, which were chosen by my awesome friends over on uh, our Discord server. Uh, if you would like to join that, uh, there is a link in the description down below as well. Along with my Instagram account and my Steam friend code too, if you ever wanted to uh, be friends on those, uh, those platforms as well. But yeah, we're going to jump into a speed build. We're going to get this done, get it all nice and neat. And then from there, we'll move on to building a restaurant and a gift shop. And then hopefully after that, we'll get our first habitat animal in. I know everybody's been waiting on that, but uh, you have to understand that for me, when building a zoo, I got to start with the entrance. I can't just go crazy and start building things. I have to do an entrance first. That's why I struggle so much with uh, franchise mode, uh, to honestly. So 
yeah, it looks like uh, we're going to jump into the time lapse here. And I will see you guys right after in the real time part.
back. I hope everyone enjoyed that little time lapse. Well, I say little, it was probably uh, pretty lengthy. I haven't edited the video yet, so I'm not sure how long it's going to be. But uh, we've our finished our first little exhibit house. Uh, I'll show you around just a little bit here. But we got this uh, neat little waterfall here. Probably would like to stick something here, uh, but we'll do that later. So I'm not sure what that's going to be. Uh, as you can see in the video, I use the uh, splash uh, splash effect to give it to make it look like there's water in here. And then we got the little fountain in the middle with the uh, waterfall type uh, deal in the background, and we do have that on that side too as well. And then in here is what it's looking like. I'm not sure about the lighting just yet, uh, but we'll we'll get there. So uh, before we end the episode, let's go ahead and get these animals in. And I was thinking we can go ahead and get some staff in here as well, because as of right now, we don't have any staff, I don't believe. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and grab some. So we're gonna grab two keepers or two caretakers, I mean. All right, we're gonna grab one keeper. Let's go ahead and pause it. We're gonna grab a mechanic, one security guard. We need two, we're going to do three vendors, so that way we have a backup, just in case, or when they need a break, it's no, uh, just in case about it, they're going to need one. Uh, we don't need a veterinarian right now, but we'll go ahead and grab it. And uh, let's not worry about an educator right now. Alright, let's go ahead and make a couple work zones. So the first work zone we're going to do is we're going to make a work zone for... everything and this is going to be for the mechanics right and we're going to call this the entrance plaza this will also incorporate the uh, gift shop and uh, all that fun stuff too as well which we will need some extra vendors for that when the time comes yeah but the gift shop cafe will be included in all this so there's the first one and then we need another one which is going to be just these and that is for the keeper or for the exhibits. So we're going to call it uh, um, we'll just call it the Antillian Iguana and actually because we're going to include our first habitat in this as well. Well, for now, hmm. it's called entrance. Actually, you know what? We're just going to leave it with the entrance. That's what we're going to do. So we'll put all of them into that one. All right, let's go our staff. So the caretakers do not need a work zone. The mechanic. Uh, he will be responsible for, he's not going to conduct research, he's not going to do ride breakdowns, but he's going to repair facility, no ride inspections. Um, he's not going to need van uh, vandalisms, but we'll keep that on, so just in case. Alright, and the security guard will not need one, so the vendor, I think we needed one more vendor. Yeah, let's go and grab that one last vendor here. We'll probably redo the uh, work zones later. So the vendor will be Entrance Plaza. Uh, the vendor will also be Entrance Plaza. And so will this one. Our vet. We'll just leave her alone for now. And then this guy, he's going to be responsible for attending exhibits only. There we go. Now we need a trade center because we need to get the uh, our exhibit animals. But for now, we're just going to grab a trade center and we're going to place the trade center. Uh, we'll place it right there for now. It'll be moved, but for now, that's where it's going to go. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add grab this and we're going to call this one the lesser... Antillian Iguana.
And we're going to take this one and call it the Goliath Bird Eater. There we go. So let's get some, uh, some animals here. So for the Goliath Bird Eater, that is going to have, I think it's three maybe? Yeah, three. So three of those, and for the Lesser Antillian Iguana, is two. Alright, it's going to filter by species. So, Goliath Bird Eater, Lesser Antillian. So we need three of these, so I'm going to do two females and a male. And they're both pretty crap. Oh my gosh, they're all crap. I don't like any of them, so we're going to adopt them, because I'm hoping for something better. And then for Antillian Iguanas, that one's okay. We're going to grab this one. I mean, all these are, are crap. From that one. We'll, we'll pick the best ones out of all these. Man, these are uh, not good at all. Hmm. Here we go. Here's a good one. So we'll keep him. So let's see what we got so far. So we're going to keep him. So let's get rid of this one. Quick trade. This one, quick trade. So we have our silver one there. I want to get the best animals we can possibly get with this. I'll keep that one. We're going to get rid of this one. We're going to get a better female. And once again, they're just absolute crap. We don't have the best of luck. Alright. That's terrible. Alright, we got our three spiders. That's, that's good enough for me. See if we can get anything better with the uh, these guys. No. Come on, man! This is terrible. I'm just gonna keep. Uh, we're gonna keep doing this until we get the ones we want. There we go. All right, that's better. It's a silver. Can we get like a gold or something maybe? I'm convinced that if we keep doing this, we'll get a better one. There we go. Silver. So we got a silver female and a silver male. So let's go and get rid of this one. This one, this one. So we're gonna get rid of all these crap ones. Usually I get uh, I get better ones than that. To be honest with you, when I'm playing in uh, other modes. All right, I guess that's as good as we're gonna get. All right, so for our Anguana, let's move. Go ahead and move them in. Oh, before I do anything, we gotta get these uh, guys on contraceptives. I don't want any of my exhibit animals uh, breeding. All right. Let's get that in. All right. We're gonna do this for each one, and then we're gonna set these up too as well. So, I'd say it's gonna be about 75. No, much more than that. 81. 57. Perfect. 
All right, let's go ahead and uh, fill all the way up, just like so. And I think it is good. I noticed that that piece right here is uh, sticking out, so we're probably going to have to fix that with something. Probably just a piece of wood. All right, let's go and get this one. So always make sure to select the habitat you want this to uh, to go for, because if not, it won't work. And we'll do the same on the other side, because if we don't, if I don't do this now, then we are going to forget. So. There we go. Cool. All right, we're gonna do this, and then after that, right before we get finished, uh, we will fix. We we'll use one of these to uh, cover that up. I don't like it. All right, let's get the, uh, the spiders in. Excuse me. So this is good, but it'll tell you it's not set. So we're gonna go ahead and put it on 70. And this is gonna be 82. Go ahead and cover up this. We're gonna go ahead and back and make sure. Yep, it's good. Perfect. This is gonna be Goliath Bird Eater. Advertising targets. Set. All right, they are in. Then we're gonna go and set these up. So something that might be relevant. And I was thinking maybe it amphibian extinction, even though we don't have any amphibians in here. Let's go ahead and make this one. Poaching an exotic pet trade. Because these would might be considered exotic, I guess. Actually, what else we got? Oh, we'll do repair the ozone layer. There we go. Just a little bit of education. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's go ahead and get a... Uh... I guess we could just possibly use one of these. Could have brought them down. You know what we're gonna do that. We're gonna bring them down. I'm gonna split them from groups so I don't have to worry about uh fix this guy. I'm gonna place those uh vent decals on one of these. It makes it uh gives it the illusion that has ventilation or something, I don't know. So we're not going for realism anything, but why not, right? So let's go ahead and go to art shapes and decals. Is it not there? Uh, decals. Here we go. Sweet. There you go. Just gives it that illusion that there's some kind of ventilation there. Plus it, uh, yeah, it works. All right, so next thing I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab some uh, trash cans.
There we go. Put one there, but it keeps messing up. Probably like a planter there or something. I feel like it really needs something right here, but I'm not sure what. Uh, would a bench fit there, maybe? I just realized we have guests. They do, but that doesn't work for me. For now, we'll just leave it open like that. There's got to be something we can put here. I just don't know what. We could possibly use uh, donation bins. I mean, there's something we could uh, we could do. For now, we're going to leave it open. But yeah, I think that's it. I do uh, eventually would like to add, start adding some lamp posts. The problem is, I'm not sure exactly what lamp posts we're going to use because I also thought about making our own. So I think that things that would fit is uh, probably not that one. The only option that we have here is 70, 70, 70. The only option that we have is to change the color and see what it looks like. So let's try that. Yeah, and I'm just, uh, yeah, I'm just not liking it. It doesn't fit. It doesn't, it doesn't work. But I thought about making my own. sure what you guys uh how you guys would feel about that uh when it comes to like the style that we're going for here we have things like these that has the wood in it but that's just uh it's not rustic that's not rustic nope this is a maybe but i'm gonna go ahead and say nope So the idea I had of making one is using this light here. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much it. So the I'm probably gonna have the uh, the path come out one more, and then we're gonna have the uh, food place and the uh, gift shop here. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking is having this. Come out one more time, but we do need a curb real quick. Yeah, one more out. So this is going to be like blocked off because it's a staff only. So we're going to have like a small planter here that goes all the way around. And it's probably going to connect back here when it comes to the uh, staff facilities. And I'm probably going to have the building start right here. I don't know. It's like I have ideas, but uh, it's executing them to the, the way that I think they work best. But anyway, yeah, when I was talking about the light posts, I like to stick light posts here. Also thinking about moving these and putting different, uh, different plants in. I'm probably going to do that off camera, though, because it's going to be something that's really, really simple. Possibly can use these. You know. Just get rid of this. Man, I'm getting stuck on the path already. Yeah, it's too big. It's not gonna work. But I'm not sure about these uh, plants here. Yeah, but I think it looks good so far. I hope that uh, everyone else uh, likes it just the same. Uh, it definitely came together nicer than I expected it to. I really like the addition of this. This is something that wasn't in my ideas. But it, it, it worked out. I like it. 
But yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode, folks. I really appreciate you guys sticking around. I really hope you like this. If you have any ideas about this building, please do not hesitate to let me know. I'd be more than happy to change a few things if uh, you think it's for the best. I'm always worth. It's always worth trying, right? You ain't going to know until you try it. But uh, don't forget about Kingathon, guys. Uh, don't if you, donate if you can, but just don't put yourself in any financial trouble doing so. Uh, it'll definitely go a long way in helping feed those animals for uh, a little while. And uh, hopefully the world will go back to complete normal uh, very shortly. Uh, thank you guys so much for all the support you've shown me uh, so far. Uh, at the time of this video, of recording this video, I've hit over 500 subscribers. I think I'm at like 520 right now. Uh, and that just happened in the past couple days. So that's really, really cool. Very proud of that. And I'm very thankful and grateful for that as well. Uh, if you like what you see, uh, consider subscribing. Uh, definitely leave a comment down and below to uh, let me know what you think. And uh, throw a like on it if you like it. And if you don't like it, throw a dislike on it. It doesn't matter to me. Uh, take care of yourself. Stay safe. Much love to every single one of you out there. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.